Hello, welcome to this C-Sharp support video. It's the first in a series with a cybersecurity theme, but we're still building on the same principles of using data structures such as lists um, and working with object-oriented programming in C-Sharp. So the idea is we need to implement a method, like a function, um, which has one parameter, which is a list of login attempts. So login attempts is a class which just has um, attributes um, and they're all public. So these are details about um, somebody who's tried to log in, tried to log in, sorry, to a computer. We have a list of all of these login attempts, and we need to generate a list that looks something like this, but without the line numbers at the front. Um, so it will just start with a date um, and then all of the details. So if we need to return a string, we should probably create that string um, and initialize it to just an empty string, and then we can return it. So we should get rid of all of the, um, the syntax errors now, but um, we're expecting uh, two lines in a log if we have two items in this list, um, which is because we're not actually adding anything to the log yet. So let's iterate through each login attempt here. So if we go for each login attempt A in the parameter that we have, which stores all of these, then we need to work out what to do with them. So um, what does A have? Well, A has a date, which we want to display first. So log, um, we'll concatenate onto the end of log. Um, and then maybe we should um, do it like this. So A dot date, we'll display that first. And then we want a colon and a space. And then the word user, and then the actual username. And then we want either failed or successfully logged in. So I'm just going to make a local variable called status or login status. Um, and let's work out what that is. So string status is going to be equal to something like failed to log in, or it's going to be successfully logged in. Um, and that depends on whether or not um, the login attempt is successful. So we can use this syntax here, which says, if this is true, then I want you to display a, um, successfully logged in. Otherwise, um, we'll set it to this instead. So either that or this is going to be saved into status. We can then display status, which will be this part. Then we want to show help, um, the word from, and then the IP address. Uh, and the IP address is just a string, so a.ip. It will have all the right data, but it won't be in the right format here because um, we've got just one line of the log because it's all going to be on the same line here. We could put a backslash n on the end, but we're still going to get the wrong number of values in the list. Um, because, oh, here we're just returning an empty string, that's no good. I want to return the log. I think we're going to have to return too many lines now. Here, here we go. We expected eight lines because there's eight login attempts, but we've actually got nine because one of them is just going to be empty. So what we'll do is we'll say um, we will add on a backslash n, a new line constant, but only if log.length is greater than zero. So that means if it's not the first one, then we'll put a new line constant onto the end of the previous line. Otherwise, if it is the first one, we're not going to, so that we'll only have the right number of items. There we go. Fab. Um, so the whole point of this um, was to introduce you to the date time class, which you can just put into a string like this. Um, you can specify exactly how you want to present it, but in the challenges over the next um, well, certainly for this week, we just want to present them in this format here. 